today we're going on the red tour, so let's see what happens. Hello, my name is Ihan Güzel. I am a tour guide in Cappadocia. Uh, these kind of monuments are known as Terry chimneys. Terry chimneys, yeah. Mm. Nature. Nature. But this is the outside of the inside. The door the door. Oh. This is downtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are in the very center of Anatolia. Middle of the middle. From north to south, west to east, we are in the center. So Cappadocia is not a town, not a city. Cappadocia is a historical name, it's a region. We're at Love Valley, near Gorum, Turkey. And use your imagination of why they call it Love Valley, and not something else valley. It used to be a caldera, the entrance of the volcano crater. Especially we have 110 calderas in Cappadocia. The place we are going to walk now, it also used to be a caldera. This is an ancient caldera. You can see actually way out in the distance here, there's one of the volcanoes in the area. There are approximately 110 calderas in the area they know of. Volcanoes, I believe it's five. Now we get double checked out, but this is just one of the calderas, and what you're looking at looks like polished sand. It's like melted ice cream to me, but that's volcanic ash, sand, pumice, all kinds of great stuff that came out of the ground millions and millions of years ago. These are now dormant, but we probably wouldn't be standing here. It's also an ancient lake bed. And they have camel rides, horse rides, pony rides, all along the edge of this caldera here. Pony rides, horse rides, Merhaba, Merhaba horse. And you definitely gotta watch where you're going because there are no safety rails here. So be careful. So try to imagine 20 million years ago, we we're probably standing Probably knee deep in water, maybe more, because that actually was an island. And that volcano way out there probably had something to do with the caldera that were in here. This is not a big one. If you go to Mammoth Lakes, California, not that way. Those are big calderas. Yellowstone, been in the center of that caldera. This is still quite impressive. And you do get the feeling this is dormant when you're in Yellowstone. <laughs> You feel like it could go off at any moment. Totally different and amazing, amazing geology here. So you always want to be careful where you step. As you can see, it's pretty close. You got about three steps and goodbye. And that will be a bloody mess. So always be careful when you're in the wild. <laughs> hard to risk not getting a good shot. <laughs> Hittite Empire or Hittite Kingdom. They were large. That time they, nobody has that much power. Hittites or Hittites 2500 years ago this area conquered by the Persians. 
become part of Persian Empire, Farsi Empire. The Persians they just came from southeast. They go back to 2,300 years ago. Alexander the Great, part of Alexander the Great, but he came from west, Greeks. 2,000 years ago, the Roman Empire from part of Europe. Sometimes Arabian. Umayyads and Abbasid, 7th century, 8th century, 11th century, 10th century, from south. 11th century, Turkish, Selçuk people, Turkish, the Selçuk dynasty, the Turkish tribes, and they, before coming here, they rule over Persia, and then they conquer this place from the Byzantine Empire. And then, 13th century, Mongolian Empire. After Mongolian, just Ottomans. That rock formation, it used to be a monk shelter. Imagine if you are a believer and you want to isolate yourself and you come here. On the right side of the cave, that's a small church. That's the one on the right side is a small church. The mid in the middle, yeah. Now you can go confess. Nobody took that rock on the top. They naturally formed like this. This place it was a low basin, partially a lake. And then lake filled by the water eruption. And then millions of years later, another eruption happened, another one happened. They just, they, in this time, they scattered different minerals, different materials. They don't matter, they just land on So here you can see it looks like a lion and a sphinx up above. Pretty cool, and supposedly it's just all natural. Slowly, but it is changing, speeding up due to the climate change, global warming, sudden heavy rain, floods. It is changing. And that one used to be another shelter for a monk, the cave over there. But until five years ago, it was a tea house, public cafe. So we're standing amongst some very old structures, 10 to 20 million years inside a caldera in the Cappadocia region of Turkey. And I want to show you something. Okay, come on, let's go this way.